Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, the second episode of Wilds of Eldrin, we're already going wild. We're gonna go Golgari Mirror. So this deck is, uh, I found this deck online and it seems to be kind of fun. And we all know that the, uh, the meta game today is, uh, you know, fairly aggressive. So I picked out a deck that is a little bit more towards the mid range end. I have a lot of brew on the control and combo end, but I don't think the server can really handle it these days. So let's look at what this deck does. Obviously, it's a Golgari Mirror deck, so it based off Besiege the Mirror for a the tutor that you can bargain to a free cast. That's the idea, and it should be worthwhile to um, try out because everyone is <laughs> hyped about this card. I think this card is the highest value card in the whole set, apparently. At least right now. Uh, so, uh, the deck looks to run into, you know, Shieldred, looks to run into Sorin for the Besieged the Mirror, but you can also get cards like Galissa if we need a blocker, if we need to destroy enchantments. We can get Lore, the Sentinel of Lost Lore, if we need to exile graveyards, uh, take out their adventure cards somehow. I don't know if there's any adventure cards that are worthwhile. Or uh, get our Gumdrop Poisoner to get Lifelink. Uh, probably not that useful. Um, we can also get a combo in Galagreeder. And Mosswood Dread Knight. So basically, whenever the Dread Knight dies, we can cast the Adventure site. And then after the Adventures, we can cast the uh, Creature site. And we can keep getting the Creature out so that we can gain life. So that the draw card, lose one life, doesn't hurt us too much. Obviously, then we have a 3-2 Attacker Blocker that we are more than happy to let die. Because we can uh, recycle for the Galagreeter. Alright, that's the whole idea of the deck. Uh, if you look at the land base, we have... Uh, 24 lands, so we don't have that many lands in the deck, but it is the normal staple 24. Uh, and we also have Virtue of Pistolins, which is a, our end game combo that we can adventure early game as a minus three, minus three to kill a creature, and we get two life, so we can take all the aggro decks that way. So let's look at the entire deck list. In the early game, we got three cutdowns, only three. We also have four Haywire Might. A lot of you are trying out different kind of artifacts and enchantments. Guess what? Haywire Might can stop that a little bit by uh, sacking it. So it's pretty good uh, as an effect on its own. We can also gain life from it. So it's, it's pretty good for that effect on its own. Uh, we also have two Infernal Grass. Notice how we're running Infernal Grass instead of go for the throw because this has no restriction. You just lose life. And we got life gain, uh, life gain, life gain. We got a whole life gain deck going on so that the Infernal Grass isn't gonna hurt us too much. We got four life of Toshiro Omizawa for minus one, minus one on creatures. And then we can use the... Uh, you know, the plus two, plus two, or gain life for other effects. We got Gallagreeter to help us get the Alliance triggers. Treasure tokens, plus one, one counter, gain life. They're all going to be good. Even though the deck is pretty low curved, uh, we have a lot of cards that requires multi-cast, like Adventure. So we we'll want to have a lot of lands, or a lot of mana on our turns. We got Mosswood, Dread Knight. Like I said, double effects. We can draw a card. Uh, we lose one life when we draw that card, but we also can bring it back as a creature. 3-2 uh, creature that then can go on an adventure again. So we can keep drawing cards that way if we're out of cards. We got Gumdrop Poisoner. I almost said Prisoner. Poisoner. Uh, and it has the template treats uh, as an adventure to create token. Uh, and then you can minus X, minus X uh, on a creature. Whenever she ET beats. And that is uh, the X is the number, amount of life we gain that turn. So we got a lot of life gain. Then we can kill creatures that way. We got the Sentinel of Lost Lore, basically a uh, anti-adventure or adventure synergy card that we can uh, bounce our adventure back uh, to our hand, or we can uh, tuck our opponent's adventure so that they can they can cast the creature side of it, and, uh, or we can exile a player's graveyard. That's obviously uh, a very good effect against uh, you know the reanimator decks, the graveyard synergy decks. We got Galissa, a good old beast stick all on her own because uh, first right death touch, but also we can draw cards, destroy enchantments, remove counters. All the works. Uh, we got Shieldred. Two Shieldreds, of course, because we need to have Shieldreds on a black deck. We got two Sorin, because, uh, you know, Sorin's also pretty good at creating tokens for us to bargain. Then we have Besiege the Mirror to bargain. And then uh, Virtue of Pestilence as the end game sort of uh, reanimating goodness that uh, ultimately will push our opponent out. Uh, and then the land base, six Swamps, one Takanuma, six Forests, one Poseju, four uh, Deathcap Blades, four Land War Wastes, and uh, a... a New card that we get to include, Restless Cottage. The card that uh, is a tap land uh, for Golgari Color, but you can also tap uh, 4 mana to make it a 4-4 Black Horror creature. Uh, and then whenever it attacks, we get to exile a, cre or exile a card from a graveyard and also create a food token that we can gain life or uh, bargain. So, it's a new deck. It's, it's a new trial deck. I don't know how strong or weak it is, but... 
obviously we can't just play fairy every day, right? So we're, we're gonna try a different color combination in Golgari and see what it does. Ruby is a tough street smart girl. Who's Ruby? I, I didn't get to read all of that. Time Machine 1107. Does that, does that mean he's from 1107? We get to go first. We got Calibrator. We got three lands. Uh, good enough to keep. We're putting Mama Black. Look, look, Mama Black. Do they have a turn one drop? Planes. All right, turn one drop it is. I don't like your scroll. Get out of here. I'm going to play a land war waste because I have a lot of lands. I might Poseidon you. I might use Poseidon you as a... As a spell. But I also might use the Bosage as a land because Sand Node needs to green. The Guardian. You got, you got anything else? You're just gonna hold up the Guardian? Uh, oh, it's one of these guys. Time Machine is stuck in his Time Machine. Alright, we got another Gal Greeter. Or we can Sentinel. What does Sentinel even do? We have no adventure of any kind in either side. Whereas in Gallagreeter can get us a tap treasure. Might be good. Or we can buff our Gallagreeter, then he'll just attack. We block. Nothing really happens in that sense, so maybe we'll just get a treasure. Do we need more lands though? I don't think we need more lands, so. Well, it kind of gets blown up by Brutal Cathar if he just attacks it out, right? So, maybe it makes sense to create a treasure. I'll make a treasure right now. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to play a Brutal Cathar next turn. So, I don't want to get blown up by that. I can exile Graveyard. That's nothing. He has no adventure. I could have put out a 3-4 blocker, to be fair. That could also give Bruno Cathar the 3 4 blocker. I wanted to do Sora next turn. I also wanted this to have something more than just a 3 4 body. But I guess a 3 mana 3 4 body against a. I guess an aggro deck isn't the end of the world. Well, he's just attacking. Oh, he played a land, so I thought he would be a bad player. He attacks. Of course, I wasn't going to block. And then we kind of just kind of stare at each other for five turns. Maybe? Hopeful Initiate. Alright. He's hopeful indeed. But now we get to play this land and we get to play our Mirthless. And I like to plus, but my board presence isn't that threatening. Out of my way. I have a wish. So you will serve me well. It's gonna put both on counters on my Gallagher readers. Do I attack? No. And hold back his blockers. He's probably gonna crew. Is it called crew? No, it's not called crew. Enlist his initiate to attack with a guardian. That would be a three. Attack. Ah, uh, there's a Voodoo Guitar. I knew it was going to happen in one of these days. But 3 attack can't actually kill Soren if I double block. Or if he attacks like that. I mean, that's, that's a tray I'll, I'll make. What does he have? Like a protection spell? No, he just wants to trade. Okay. Um, I only drew lands, so we can lost send no exile his graveyard. That's and then make this a three three. It's not great. Uh, card draw seems to be an issue. Soren, if I plused, I would have gotten a land. So obviously, plusing there wasn't a good idea. Oh, he's gonna hold up that activation forever. Alright, so we're gonna get a plus one plus one. And we're gonna exile his graveyard for 
Something and giggles. I don't know. It's not... It, it, again, we're trying out these new decks. I have Osage you up if he has an enchantment somehow. I don't think he'll have an enchantment ever. Uh, so, we're just gonna let it go. Let it go. We got a 3 4. Probably bark. Uh, I don't want to block, block the Guardian. It's kind of pointless. I'm gonna trade my whole board here for one of his cards in his hand. I don't think so. He's gonna he's gonna enlist anyways. This is a cool sleep though. Look at those dragons. Ooh. All right. Uh, the the hardest part is playing his aggro deck. Uh, I guess the opponent who's playing an aggro deck that's you know brain dead. I'm gonna leave. He's a. Uh, we've only drawn land so far. I don't think I've drawn anything that's not a land. And I can't play a game like that. We got a two Gallagreter, we got Soren, we got the uh, the Lost Lore Sentinel, and then every other card is a land. I am one Beseech the Mirror away from getting cards that are not lands, but hey, you know. I'm pretty sure janky decks like this is not incentivized. This deck almost reminds me of The Rock. No, not the actor, the uh, the old days. There's a deck called The Rock, which is Golgari, and it was just, you know, good stuff. The problem with that kind of deck is it's kind of phased out. It's got good stuff, yeah, but, you know, it has no combo. So if your opponent just is tempoing you out, you kind of just sit there and cry. I guess the last game I should have played the Sentinel of the Lost Lord when I had the chance uh, in the early game. Because that would have been more of a staple. Uh, and now I'm meeting another problem because this is gonna be a big old first. Brutal Katarmi turn three, and I just kind of lose everything, right? Kind of have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. It just attacks. Yeah. Not gonna block. I would attack first. Not gonna play anything. Is there a counter spell? Well, let's see here. Counter spell against my Galissa. Counter spell against an elf. I don't think he will have an adventure. Not in that deck. Now, counter a Sentinel of Lost Lore? I don't think so. Alright, let's get a little buffer. Oh, exile your graveyard. Take that! Take that, your graveyard and your some cards. I mean, the exile graveyard card definitely has more ability. Uh, when they go off, because the soldier deck, they have a lot of graveyard synergy. But, I can't, I can't afford it. He didn't even do it during his end step. Or my end step, he just did it during my combat. Which is weird. Recruitment officer, yeah. You gonna recruit? Are you gonna attack? No attacks. Alright, so... Do I just die to a Harbin? I think I will. So I gotta be a little bit more careful, right? This is whenever it dies, I can... Hmm. Oh, I need to hold up three mana. But I do want to play a spell every turn. There's no day-night cycle, but I do want to play a spell every turn so that something is happening. Uh, let's get a plus one on counter. Or tap treasure. How good is a tap treasure for next turn? Because I want to play Galissa, and I will have 6 mana, which will be able to hold up Infernal Grasp, right? So that's what the tap treasure is for. But the plus 1 plus 1 is kind of necessary to not die from the board here. Yeah, we'll play a tap treasure. I need to hold up a kill their Harbin spell. If they Harbin me. I, I'm pretty sure they're trying to Harbin me with this deck. This is not Vigilance. This, even though it's a Sentinel, it's not Vigilance. Which is... What? So I can't attack with it. I just gotta hold back. But we have more um, mid to late game card than they do. So well, they have another Resolute Reinforcement. That's nice. They're just gonna get a wide, wide board here. And my Infernal Grass can't even kill Thalia. Because uh, I need to use it to kill the Carbon. So they're going wide. Which, I mean, I, I guess. But they can't actually protect their Harbin because uh, their Thalia attacks 
is taxing out any protection spells that usually cost two. Well, now they can protect it. Ah, uh, always get the best draws. Now what? No attacks, huh? Well, now we can play Galissa. Actually, do we still want to play the Galissa? We play Shodra. Galissa's not reach. Shodra's death touch. They have they have they don't have another harbor in their hand, but they can top deck it. They can definitely top deck it. So maybe it's warranted to play two creatures. I want to play two creatures and then attack. Am I attacking with the Gallag Reader? I don't think so. So, we'll attack first. Give it Gonjo. Oh, that's his last card. So, you would Gonjo the Sentinel. Can I protect it? I cannot protect it. So. That's, it's not fine, but it is what it is. We'll get the Moss Wood Dread Knight. That will give us plus one, plus one. I don't need more treasure. What I need is some life. So, play Shieldred, and we'll gain some life. Good luck. Oh. Always have it. And they dropped the land. So they got the lethal on board. Not on board lethal. They attacked anyways. Wouldn't the clapback just kill him? Alright, four. Well, this is not getting through, right? So this is going to be six, seven. Uh, not enough, to be fair. It's not enough. But... He has to block with Harbin, right? Uh, otherwise, this is 7, 8, 9, uh, plus 4. That will be 13, 14, 15. That's only 15 damage. And then I die. This is only 15 damage. Maybe he's not good at math. This is going to be 4, right? H how good is 4 damage? 4, 8, plus 7. But if I don't play a creature this turn, do I just die to this clapback? I think I just do, right? This is more than six damage. Uh, all right, so I have to play creatures this turn. Uh, we'll get a plus one, plus one. And we'll get a life. Get a life. Math is not. Oh, math is their strong suit, and so is top decking the exact right card, exact right time. So, ah, uh, the rock can handle the whatever it's going on today. Messy. Well, we have a lot of removal, but not drawing it seems to be our strong suit. We didn't draw any of the cutdowns. We didn't draw our beseech. We draw, you know, a bunch of lands and a Galissa, and it went first. Okay, uh, we get the Gallic Reader very often, which is, I guess, good. I'm not hating it. Red, huh? Kamano. Alright, well, let's see how the Kamano does against... Do I want a Gallic Reader, or do I want a life? How good is a life? It's a minus one, and then another minus one next turn. I don't think that's good enough. Because if it has Felden, oh, Swiss Fear. Yeah, still, it's three toughness. And I can't exactly kill it. They can kill mine, though. So that's. That's just perfect here. Clear 
get a food token, get a life linker, and in terms of battle, up to one target creature. So, I want to gain some life, right? That way I can minus two, minus two something. But I can just play a next. Oh, I can't play a next turn. So, I ha that whole next turn is gonna be this and the backside of this for six for four mana. I don't gain any life this turn, so I can infernal grasp this, take the two. It's not very good either. It's gonna gain the life. Great of food. I need that Gallagrader bad, man. I need it bad. We're faced against three aggro decks today. And what the heck is that? Alright, we'll give some... Hold on, what's on the board? Plus, uh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. So it's two or more non-land permanents into the battlefield. It is a dragon. Oh, Godric, okay. So what do I want to do? I can minus. I can minus this, minus this again, and kill this. Yeah. Guess we'll have to do that. All right, we're at eight. This is the only two damage, so we've got six. Nico will try to play two permanents. Don't think a fancy dress means I didn't come here to fight. One damage, huh? Do so you want to play another You're permanent? Lucky this is a warning shot. Uh, it's two permanents. Gotta kill this four four. We got a land. We're gonna gain some life. Gain two life, because nothing else that we can kill here. We got a 2 3. So, we've gained two life this turn. We can gain two, three more life. And then we can play the gun drop. Poison this out. Maybe we'll stabilize. Maybe. <laughs> so he still got two cards. He can probably still kill me. This is a life linker, though. No. Oh. We should all follow our hearts. Man, forget your hearts. It's definitely a lightning strike my gumdrop prisoner. Poisoner. Poison. No. It's something. What else can we do? Shieldred will be pretty good once they run out of like damage spells. They got a chick. Okay. Not running out of damage spell anytime soon. Well, I mean, is anyone surprised by that? Anyone surprised by me drawing the land? All the cards that I needed to draw, I drew a land. Okay, so I attack Chandra. I don't need this many blockers, right? So I attack Chandra, and he's not going to block it. You're just never going to learn, are you? I'm going to go to five, four. Uh, if his two spells in hand does exactly four damage, I die. He cannot Godric and get two permanents into the battlefield, but he can minus one, or plus one, and get a car. He gets a so Phoenix a Chick. So what? And... I, I don't know what so what is. Very nice. Galagrader is good, but it's not great. Maybe I'll just turn the cottage sideways. 
I create a food with the cottage. I'm not blocking with Shieldred, so it makes more sense this way. I get an exile car. Let's take out the lightning strike. Oh, why? I'm going to go down to four again. Oh boy, this is uh, this is tricky. Again, the two cards in his hand can do four damage, then I die. I mean, there's no point in holding back with Phoenix here. I'm at one. And a Chandra! For that last damage. Good this draws. That's some up. nice draws, uh, I guess. So was there any way to come out of that? I don't think it is any way. If I play the Swamp the turn before. No, I don't have that extra land. So if my top deck was a land and I played a land before, I could have sacrificed the food token for 3 life. But... That was gonna be a very hard thing to do. Hey, you know, we lost the three aggro decks in a row, so it does show that the the rock isn't very good against aggro. I don't think it's that good against control either, to be fair. Now we place against Xanderman 2010. Xanderman? You get to go first. We get to go first a lot, and we draw the Gallagrader a lot, but I don't think any of that has helped so far. Also against Burn deck, I probably shouldn't play the Gallagrader first. Should have played the Life. Raw Priest. Well, you gotta kill the Raw Priest before it gets too scary, so... Get rid of it. Alright, four aggro decks in a row. Each one more annoying than the last. Slaughter. Can't minus it off, but can play Galissa. Is he just reading what Galissa does? Play your scroll. Play your scroll. Bloated contaminator. Interesting. Doing a lot of reading there. Alright, what are we going to do this turn? Gallagreeter and life? What are we doing with life? Game life? That's not very good. Um, we can play the Gumdrop Poisoner. We don't gain any life this turn. Uh, I can destroy an enchantment. None of these are enchantments. I can uh, draw a card, which loses life instead of gain life. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do this. Gallagreeter, now life. It's not very good. It definitely isn't very good right now, but it is set up for next turn. I don't get the value, but I don't need value against an uh, aggro deck. I need to ore presence. If I can gain the life, my gun drop poisoner is minus four because of Gallagreeter. Maybe he wants to kill my life of Toshiro. Yeah, he does not want to do it. Probably has a lot of targeting. Audacity, yeah. How would he like to attack though? What does he get from this? He gets plus one, plus one, and that's it, right? So, I'm guessing he has a... Uh... What is that card called? The, the Indestructible that he wants to cast on the Bloated Contaminator. And I don't want to feed my Galissa to that, so... 
Oh boy, if I block... If I don't block, I get 4 poison. If I block, I still get poison, and then my Galissa dies to one of his spells. I'm not sure if I want that to happen. Alright, he's holding a very long time on this. He can give Hexproof, which is a good trick for next turn. But I think he wants, wanted to kill my Galissa this turn. So the Minus won't do much next turn, right? Unless I draw another life. And then the Minus 2 from the Gumdrop can kill the Venerator Rock Priest. Which is what I'm scared about right now. Oh, the, the rope. Come on. Is this a server issue? Is it a server issue? His, uh, his pet's not responding. My pet's responding. Alright, Zenderman 2010. I still feel like this is a server issue because I, I am not... Okay, no. The, the rope shows up. When you play Arena, you never know. Bloated Contaminator attacking. Come on. Did he DC? Did he have a stroke? Oh, really? You don't say. Now, if he knows what he's doing, he'll proliferate my life of Toshiro Mizawa. He didn't do it. I draw a land. So, I think I'm going to kill the Bloated Contaminator. Do I? Kill the Bloated Contaminator? Do I kill the Venerator Rock Priest? It's... It's the more scary car, right? So we'll gain two life. Nothing else really matters here, so we'll gain two life. Now all these cards are pointless right now. And then we'll create a food token, I guess. Gain two life this turn so we can kill the Rot Priest. If he's got Tyvar stand, he can give Hexproof. So, uh, we'll just do it on the Rot Priest. And then we'll get a plus one plus one. I don't know how many of this is going to matter. Because we're at four poison. And the Rot Priest will push through with targeting. If he has a protection spell, he'll push through with targeting. Oh boy, that's more timeouts that he's going to use. Because uh, playing this deck is really hard, right? Going to Eldraine with a Marching Machine deck? Is this even Marching Machine? Is this Phyrexia OV1? Are you done with your stroke? Come on. Alright, that card is dead. Not forget to drop a land. I have two lands, so it could be that I need all the mana next turn, so I drop the land this turn. I don't think I'm going to attack. Oh, I can attack and destroy the Audacity. How good would that be? Or I can just quit. I mean... I don't know, he was the one roping. Okay, well, that's one game under our belt for the rock. This Golgari Mirror deck is, uh, something else. Honestly, it's just, it has not been, has not been doing well against, uh, against an aggro deck, which it, I think it will do well against a mid-range deck, because it's also mid-range, and a tempo is a little bit better as a mid-range, but the problem with that is we don't really meet mid-range opponents. Alright, we only have two lands, but we haven't really had trouble drawing lands yet, so 
Let's see if it starts. Alright, well, this is probably just gonna get removed. There it is. Now we have Life of Tashiro Omazawa. I don't really want to cast that. Now there could have been an argument but for not playing out the Gallagher last turn, but I really had nothing else to play. Oh, it's a Rafine. How do I get around a Rafine? I don't know if I can. Get around a Rafine, that is. Oh, well, drop a land. At least we drew a land this turn. So, uh, the life of the Shiro Mazawa isn't going to get anywhere on the Rafine. Sorin, maybe? This doesn't do anything either. Under my wish, neither vampire nor you deal with this annoyance. And it's a shield drift. Wow, okay, that's just all the cards. <laughs> Discard his wedding announcement? How good is his hand? Jeez. Okay, well. So what are we gonna do this turn? The land. Uh, we pay some life. Yeah, sure. Why not? This means that we can. is free. If we attack for two, then my Soren will die to the Rafine. It's a two-five now. Can I gain five life this turn? I I can, but I can't target the Rafine if I gain five life. I can gain 4 life with this. Not enough, huh? I can gain 5 life and then we can kill the children. I guess that's the plan. Is that even a good plan? Gain 4 life, kill children, and then we will have a... We gotta attack first. Now we can kill children. Rafine is so scary. I need to draw another land. Well, I guess this uh, the Rafine is attacking sword, so at least we got that going. And he has a discard card, right? Goodbye, Soren. We hardly knew you. Excuse my sudden egress. That's not a land, so we're gonna have to haywire die somehow. Oh, we can't have haywire die somehow. And in fact, it's very easy to have a haywire die somehow. Let's see if he will block the haywire. Hmm. Is he holding up a counter spell? Two mana make this appear, right? That's probably what's going on here. But can I live through and make this appear? Well, first things first. He 
definitely has to make this appear in his hand. That is what it's holding up to. How do I even play the gumdrop uh, over to make this appear? I don't think I can. So I'm just gonna get this caught in to make this appear. Oh, he's gonna hold up more and make this appear anyways. Uh, he doesn't have life gain though. I have life gain. So if he wants to race, we can race a little. mastermind that's just gonna die to the life unless he buffs it but if it then he doesn't buff his Rafine right so we're not really drawing cards he's drawing cards as long as he doesn't get shielded we're still in the running Rafine is scary but it's not as scary as what we're bringing out like six damage a turn scars two lands that's interesting. He's just letting it happen. Well, if he's just gonna let it happen like that. Alright, it's a lot of mana. He probably has a uh, Urtai. So, let's go for the attack first. Goes to eight. Is he gonna counter a Gallic Reader? Now is he gonna counter a Sentinel of Lost Lore? It does. What does this do? Bring back a Gumdrop? <laughs> bring, bring it back to my hand. That's interesting. Uh, do I want it back in my hand? You can't make me discard it. It's somewhat of an effect. Alright, he's holding up his counter spell because he doesn't want to waste it, which I totally get. But what is in his graveyard actually? Do I want to exile his graveyard? I can get another food token. Oh, I can choose one or more. You know what? Exile graveyard anyways. He wants to get his children. Hey, I get that. He get to gain two life with children. But that's his whole turn, and then our gun drop will kill him. So, I'm okay with that. He's got to go for the throw for my sentinel. Children's in. He wants to attack. Draws and discards the card. Does he still have to make this appear? Do I mind if he still has to make this appear though? Because he'll have to sacrifice his Rafine to stay to save his children, if that's the case. Alright, I gain two life from the Gallic Reader. And then I can gain more life with this. He has one card. Oh. Interesting. So, we will draw a cut down. We'll gain a life first. There's a reason for that. We will sacrifice this food to gain three more life. Gain five life. He has one mana. He has a reaction. Maybe it's a cut down. I don't think he can. There's a spell pierce, but I don't think he can spell pierce this, right? So 
uh, we'll minus five on this, and we'll put a plus one sun counter on the Gallagreeter. You can cut down the Greeter. He didn't cut down the Greeter. Turned him sideways. There's a cut down, which, I mean, yeah, you killed my three suit finally. But you're a four with one Rafine. Alright, so we are pretty neck and neck. He has a life gain. Life linker. What if I cut it down? Now he has no life linker. And we'll play our other Gallic Reader just to buff. GG! Alright, we won against Esper Legend. That's what you get for not playing new decks, you jerk. Alright, so we got more games under our belt. I think that's good enough to represent The Rock. Uh, the deck is... it's alright. I, I don't think it's the best deck in the world. It's not the... I mean... It's definitely not the worst deck uh, in Eldraine. It has more fine-tuning to be done. We did get draw... Uh, we did draw Gallagreeter a lot. And Gallagreeter is a good card uh, if you can kind of keep it up or combo synergy it with like one drops. But if you don't, it's a two mana one one, which is terrible. So uh, there's more to be learned about this deck. I think this deck isn't bad, but I'm not playing it in the most optimal way. Zero Besiege to Mirror was drawn this game, this day. Uh, zero Virtue of Pestilence was drawn this day. A bunch of Gumdrop Poisoner was drawn, and I, it's a pretty good card. It won us the game against Esper Legend, but. Uh, honestly, like uh, we needed our late game to do stuff, and we didn't draw our late game. All we drew were these, and then a bunch of land. So, uh, overall, I would say this is a good deck, but it's got more fine-tuning and better ways to play than the way I played it. Um, maybe it also serves to have Phyrexian Arena in this deck. I'm not sure how I can fit it in, but that might be what is needed. And Sentinel of the Lost Lord. This, this card has just been a kind of dead card. It hasn't been able to do anything impactful i think it's we can just play as a three mana three four and if you think about it as that that wouldn't be as bad but in those cases maybe having more galissa will be better so every time i had a sentinel i much oh well, i would much rather have a galissa because then i can attack with it draw cards and have more synergy so i i think that might be what's uh what needs to be tuned in this deck but of course if we see a lot of adventures going on in the metagame then sentinel of lost war would be a better card Otherwise, uh, we were kind of just falling behind on Synergy a lot, and that is the problem that I've noticed when playing this deck. It's got more fine-tuning, but it has a lot of potential for Gogari. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.